So, what does a practice routine look like before you go online to play this stressful game? Are you just straight hop to rank like the scenario given or being a responsible player like you should and try warming up all lap a little bit? In my case, it depends. Sometimes I'll just go online and play regardless of whether I win or lose or if I do have extra time, I'll just spend like a few hours labbing certain things or matchup that I'm having trouble with and watching my replays before playing online a little bit. So the practice routines that I usually go for pretty much depend on what I want to focus at the end of the day. It could be improving on the specific skills like blocking, like blocking lows, identifying strings, uh, movement, punishment, breaking through, sidestepping, and a lot of other things that you can try and see whether it's working as your game plan, etc, etc. Next is mindset and preparation. As we all know, Tekken is a very competitive game. While you are learning and trying to improve in the game, be prepared to lose. And you're gonna lose a lot. And it's a good thing. You probably not say it much now, but it will benefit you if you can stay focused, deal with losses, and not just think of winning every single time. And look at the small wins that you gain from each match you're probably having trouble with and see whether you can hit the goal of some of the practice that you've been doing. Like, if you have never been able to block Brian's or Lily's sneak edge previously, maybe this time you manage to pull it off. Or you fuck a king player who keeps trying to grab you with his giant swing or cradle you to death, and this time you manage to break it. Then it's a small win. You might lose the match, for sure. But you gain something more important long-term wise, which is building muscle memory and adapting strategies, which can boost confidence over time. So, the next time you match again with the same characters, you probably have a better understanding of chances in approaching the matchup that will boost your confidence a little bit more and start to appreciate Tekken the way it is. It's difficult for a reason, but the moment you overcome it, it means a lot. It shows that your effort in learning the game pays off. At least to me. Last but not least, physical conditioning. We always talk about conditioning the opponent, but are you aware that you need to condition yourself? Physically. I noticed that many content creators talk about this, but if you manage to watch the recent EVO last month, notice how often the top players like Arslan Ash, Atif, or even Ulsan drank water. It's the same thing. The way I look at it, that's how they physically prepare themselves while playing. Hydrate, drink water. Dehydration can impact concentration, coordination, and decision-making skills, which are critical in sports. Staying hydrated ensures you remain alert and focused during practice and games. I mean, try it for yourself and see the difference. Other things that you can do to physically condition yourself are hand exercises, stretches, or even general fitness routine that help with injuries during long sessions. As for me, I prefer jogging or walking for stamina and wearing a wrist protector for comfort since it can be very painful for me if I play Tekken for way too long. Another good habit when it comes to physical conditioning is meditation. The benefits of meditation can be beneficial to sharpen your focus and feel less frustration by becoming better at regulating your emotional state. This is more on a preference basis as some people might not be into meditation. It might not suit everyone, myself too. I'm not the most serene person and constantly lose focus if I have to sit and close my eyes doing nothing trying to meditate for a few minutes. Which is why I compensated for it with a fitness routine for endurance because only God knows the chaos in my mind. Playing Tekken can be frustrating, especially when losing repeatedly or facing emotion matches. We all experience frustration and fatigue, often exacerbated by mistakes or poor performance at times. And it's okay. Acknowledging that there are loops in our game plan and gaps in terms of skill is the thing that makes you human and differentiates you as a player. Accepting that losing is a part of the competitive process can be beneficial for improvement. It's part of the learning process and celebrating small victories helps with long-term improvement. It won't change overnight. Sometimes, it might take more time than you think to improve. You just have to be consistent and never stop playing. Keep playing. And you gotta brace yourself to lose a lot at first, until one day everything clicks and you start to win naturally. As Paul says, no pain, no gain. So, go on and enjoy your journey in Tekken. As someone who enjoys self-learning, 
Balancing practice, maintaining a don't give up mindset and taking care of my mental and physical health are important to manage the challenges of competitive play and a more enjoyable Tekken experience. With that being said, hit the like button, subscribe if this type of content resonates with you and enjoy the rest of the bonus footage. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! J'espère que tu n'es pas un de ces incompétents à l'esprit limité. Round 1. Fight. Ce soir, cuisine française, évidemment. <rire>